We here at the Game and Saloon Rift Tracks always support any and all that are involved in the creation and distribution of any show we feature, and will encourage any of those watching to support the official release. Thank you, and enjoy the show. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. Welcome to the Gaming Solo Rip Tracks from March 16th, 2013. With your host, Beastbreaker2448. And Rampant Epsilon. Ah, yay. A week without Kava 2. Thank God. And Glock has to miss it. Sucks to be him. Yeah. <laughs> We have a feeling we know what happened this time, though. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> mm. uh, I'm, I'm just glad to be away from Kabuto for a week. And apparently there's something really stupid that I didn't even know about that I found out uh, yesterday. Oh, God. When, li when listening to some commentary tracks for uh, Superior Tizen and a Forza Roundtable. What, are they planning on focusing something on Kabuto and Decade? No, it was just this comment about uh, <laughs> something that Kabuto has during the Superhero Ties in commentary track that made me go, Oh, dear God. <laughs> Why? Why must the show continue to surprise me at how awful it can be? Ugh. And also, why is Harlem Shake freaking me on freaking the, the, uh... There's no telling. Or the Hangover There's 3 literally teaser nothing. that I don't care about. Because that is a fail on YouTube's part. Probably. Anyway, this week, we're going to be taking a look at Power Rangers Mega Force because we need a good show this season before we all go collectively insane. Yeah, but Power Rangers? Do what? I said, yeah, but Power Rangers? Mega Force is at least decent to good. It is a step up from Samurai. No, <laughs> well, that's not saying too much. <laughs> Honestly, I can sit down and watch the show. I can stand to watch this show. So I'm happy. Yeah, uh, I, I kind of lost what remaining respect I had for Power Rangers when we did the uh, double take, and I realized how much material Saban just completely rips. Uh, this will make you feel better because so, nothing, uh, barely anything of Ghost Sager is left in this show. There's Gose, the giant talking head. There's Tenso, kind of. That's kind of Thaddeus. You remember him? The walking mm -hmm. arcade machine. You all remember, remember that? Um, no. And, um... The morphers, they, they do they do the same thing <laughs> with the weapons and uh oh they're aliens and uh that that's kind of it. There's literally nothing left of Ghost Sager, so <laughs> So you mean that it's actually new stuff? <gasps> what a except novel concept. Except that they're five teenagers with attitude. They seriously dropped that line in the first episode. Which we won't be watching because I can't find a dad damn episode on the internet. And I am shocked and disappointed in you all. That is an internet fail right there. Yeah. Internet, why have you failed us? I know there's torrents, but I ain't taking the risk with a torrent. Depends on where you get the torrent. I'm still not taking that gamble. Because I don't know where these cards are coming from. So we're going to skip past the first episode. Where we find out that Gose was apprenticed by Zordon. And... 
there's aliens, and we introduce to the five team five team members. Except you could pretty much get the gist of them no matter what, and that was it. Hmm. Oh, and oh, and there was Legend War footage at the beginning of episode one, like uncut Legend War footage. You could still see like the Super Sentai teams that knocked that didn't get brought over in the footage. <laughs> I believe it's more obvious in, um, I think it's episode four, where uh, Troy has another vision of the Legend War. He does that, because that's his character trait right now, because he's got nothing else besides he's the new guy in town. I'm sure he got development in this week's episode, but I haven't seen it yet, so bear with me. But that's pretty much the gist of the Legend War footage, except for I think there's like one or two scenes in there that are brand new. Hmm. So I think that's going to be your season finale. Because we got Mega Force and we got Ultra Mega Force, where the Go Kaijers are in it, possibly. One, uh, there's a photo of a stunt actor wearing Go Kai Green's boots, just his boots. And it's being described as sun in uh, sword and gunplay, and they are filming the next season, so it's entirely possible that the go catchers are in there as something. So no idea hmm. what. <laughs> we still have no idea how exactly the go catcher footage is being incorporated outside of. They're gonna stick cards that represent the other rangers into their morpher and then transform into them. Because we can't have Rancher Keys in America because... Uh, <clears throat> oh, and next week's episode will have Robo Knight. Spoilers. <laughs> uh, it doesn't help that the episode title is Robo Knight. You know, that? yeah, that kind of gives it away, don't it? Yeah. Fail. <laughs> yeah, that. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, thoughts going into this. In the back of my mind, it's screaming Power Rangers, Power Rangers. <laughs> but I, I, I'm willing to give it a chance. Don't feel bad. Everyone was kind of that way, and from what I've heard, everyone's surprised by this. This is a mostly positive reaction to the show. Like, everyone who was coming off Samurai maybe and down on Samurai is surprised by this show. And are liking maybe it Sabon so far. finally figured it out. <laughs> well, it also might have been that, uh, and someone gave this explanation, I don't remember who, that uh, Dave took so much time into doing the anniversary show, which this is the anniversary season. This season of Megaforce, it's all Mighty Morphin references. Like, the first episode is pretty much Day of the Dumpster, take two. That's the first episode of Mighty Morphin. Hmm. Like, beat for beat, it is pretty much Day I of noticed, the Dumpster, except changes here and there. I, I noticed, too, and it was just on earlier today, and I caught a little bit of it. I noticed they went back to the Mighty Morphin color scheme, too. Well, that's just because the Ghost Sagers have the same color scheme. That's kind of it. it just that kind of, come, that's another reference there. Yeah. That's probably what... I can't say that's why they favor Ghost Sager over Go Kaiger in adaptation, because that's not how it went down. They were kind of forced into using Ghost Sager first. But it's just one of those happy coincidences. And they also have the same, like, henshin, almost, of the Mighty Morphin guys. They use the same line from the original show. And from Go Busters, but Go Busters is a reference. You know, 
I love the way that you called it a henshin uh, right there. Because <laughs> I don't think it's ever mentioned that way in Power Rangers. <laughs> well, I call every... Uh, when I'm referring to specific <laughs> rangers and sentai, I call them rangers because I don't know the specific word for individual rangers and sentai. I just refer to them as rangers. And I refer to them as Zords and Megazords because sue me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Do you have a better term for it? No. Shut up. <laughs> it's how I describe them. Any other thoughts? I, I think the show's decent to good. I've kept up with it since the premiere. And I was going in expecting the worst. Almost. I, I I was worried going in, but it surprised me. I'm still going to be thinking along the lines of it's Power Rangers. But I, like I said, I'm willing to give it a shot and see what happens. Yeah. I only had two complaints coming out of the first episode, really. One is Troy's voice and uh, when he's in suit, and the second is the very, very obvious cutting in the Japanese footage really badly. Hmm. I mean, like, really badly. It's like we're in one location, then we're in the next, and then that, 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 that. It, it's not like I, I remember the footage. It's just that obvious. Wow. It's kind of bad. I, I don't think it got... I don't think, I think it's picked up since then, but it, it was kind of bad. <laughs> Anyway, you ready to start episode one? Uh, let me get it queued up and ready. Right. I bet and you I'm going to have to sit there and add, aren't I? Oh, whoa, no, wow. Hot dog. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no first ad. I can't believe that. Yep. If you're watching on the website, it is down below. If you are not, tgstgsr.dyndns.org. Rift Tracks page, down at the bottom. Also, you can go on Nick's site and uh, look it up by episode names, which I'm sure Pace has up. He blasted me with science. That one is the first one we're going to be looking at, which is episode two. Yeah, and, and the second one is going viral. That's kind, really kind the episode of, I guess let's... <laughs> <laughs> I, I I guess let's kind of uh, give everyone a little bit of time to get caught up there. Yeah. Because you kind of can't pause the live stream. <laughs> sure you can. Well, yeah. you, you can with YouTube. I forgot about that, yeah. Yeah, and it will stay at the time. Yeah, I It's only when you that. click the live button that it becomes live. That might be a benefit of YouTube over other streaming sites, if you can call yeah, it a benefit. With Twitch, I mean, with Twitch, you pause it and you hit play, you just lost all of that right there. Yeah. <laughs> that, you, that is one thing I like about YouTube streaming. I, I cannot stand the fact that I cannot do game streams Without all kinds of different wires and whatnot, yeah. that just irritates the crap out of me. If I could figure out an easy way of doing that, then everything would be good. All right. Oh anyway, wait, think we gave him enough time? Yeah, I think we did. All right, starting up, he blasted me with science. In three, two, one, go. Oh, there's one. There's the one shot I love from the Ghost Sager opening that's in the uh, <clears throat> Mega Force opening. My bad. I think we'll see. It. Oh, we're not gonna see it just yet. Hmm. I was like that. Uh, the professor is fantastic in uh, the fourth episode, or not fourth? Yeah, fourth episode. Where it's that? You remember that music episode? Oh, wait, no, you wouldn't miss out. I remember that one. It's really bad music playing. 
like ear piercingly bad, and the professor's like, "This is rocket, dude." <laughs> it's fantastic. Uh, Oh, this is a flashback to the first episode. Trust me. This this is just in here because we need to establish their rivalry. Because we got nothing else. Because <laughs> remember could, how Red... I, I think I could spoil a right there, but I'm not. What? Uh, I can't. Okay. I think, if I'm right, I think I saw that from this... Uh, wakes up episode. So yeah, I can't. Okay. That that's a double raise on there. Oh, but you remember how Red fought this guy at the beginning of episode one? Yeah. They have to set up the fact that the you know Red's kind of mad at him because they have no other way of setting it up because that fight didn't happen. I don't think. Let's happen hmm. in this week's episode. Oh, you remember how the go catcher set up with the chicks? You had the girly girl and the tomboyish girl? Yeah. Same setup here. Same colors, too. <laughs> Yellow's tomboyish and apparently really smart, and pink is girly and does BMX and photography and is all wildlife and nature. <laughs> Yeah, and it's not like you wear your colors all the time. Yeah, seriously. Yeah, for use footage from Ghost Sager, that, that there's no new footage here at all. I, at least I don't think so. Yeah, they're doing the same thing as the samurai opening, which is stupid. <laughs> yeah. At least we all know their names. <laughs> and trust me, the first episode wasn't actually uh, origin. Uh, I love that shot of the villains just walking forward. At least they cut it before you. Before the, I, I think some, one of them realizes, it's like, wait, I'm running out of room. I can't walk forward anymore. I'm going to walk into the pole. And there's nothing new here out, uh, well, out of suit. Yeah, high legend war footage. Still so shocked about that because it's uncut. Yeah. Granted, they do their damnedest to hide it, but they still can't hide everything. Hard to hide every fact of something that massive, though. Yeah, and in episode four, blatantly shows the Die Rangers fighting with uh, the Geki Rangers, our Jungle Force Rangers. I think there's a hint at a, a future episode in the in these shots. Let's see if I can spot it. I think it's over the professor's shoulder. I can't remember. It's something uh, Brax uses in a later episode in uh, Ghost Sager. I can't think of his name right now in Ghost Sager. There it is. Hmm. Professor just covered it up. Yeah, that thing. The circle thingy. That, huh. That's used in an episode of Ghost Sager. 
I, I don't know if that's hinting at hinting at what's going to happen in a future episode or not, but it's in there. Probably. And apparently it's creepy that these two are trying to, uh, at least Black's trying to hit on Yellow, because, you know, in Ghost Ager, they were brother and sister. <laughs> huh. Yes, very classic looking UFOs. Welcome to Power Rangers, where this is a weekly basis. Wait, we haven't hit that yet? The, the, the what? You haven't hit an ad yet, have you? No. Huh. That's surprising. Have you? No. Huh. I just looked at the timer and was like, we should have hit an ad already. Maybe it's a embed glitch. I'll take it. I will too. Yeah, you're going to notice that a lot about the cards, that they are the original Ghost Sager cards. Because they still have the Japanese on them. Especially in the used footage. That is that that still takes me out of the show a bit. The body language of the suits and the voice acting. It it just takes me right out of it because I'm like, that doesn't match. No, it doesn't. I mean, in motion, it's fine, but when they're standing there and talking, it doesn't work. They should have probably uh, redid some of the. They do redo on. some of it. Um, uh, the next episode has an entire sequence that's completely original. In suit. Of course, in my opinion, I mean, yeah, they're supposed to be an adaptation of the. Japanese versions, but why can they not do their own battle scenes too? Yeah, I, I mean, could understand. I could understand having the same suits and all of that, but I mean, I think they should have redone them all. That way, it was completely original. Yeah, and I think RP. I think RPM showed you could do that because that was a weekly basis. I mean, I can't. I can't think of a fight scene that's. Isn't original. I mean, all the mech fights, yeah, that's taken straight from Go On Sure. But, uh, you know, the, just the Rangers fighting the monsters, that's almost all original for the most part. Except for the occasional scene. Well, apparently, so are you. <laughs> Thanks for pointing out the plot. No ad. 
Okay, that was supposed to be an ad spot, and it just kept playing. Yeah. I, something bugs me about when Troy's in suit voice acting. It just bugs me because I'm like, you're trying too hard to be the, the leader voice. I think episode one is more blatant. I, It just bugs me. Mm-hmm. Not enough to be like, oh, that's a negative show. It's just like, Troy, you, you can back down a bit. You, you can not, you can be less hero, less leader-ish in the voice. Now, you think most of the stuff he's testing would be obvious. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to be fighting aliens for the rest of the season. You better believe that there's flying saucers. There's one orbiting the planet. Reuse footage, but brand new roll call. Which I don't think there's any way to really avoid that if you're doing the roll call. I mean, I, I'm fine with the roll call being your used footage, but I, I, if somebody calls it original, I'm like, no. That's yeah, shot for shot, the, the, the roll call from the show. Yeah. They just did dubbed over their own lines. Yeah. Why don't they just call it a crossbow? It's a crossbow. Uh, I, I don't see the point of calling it a bow gun. Yes. It's kind of interesting that they they kept all that in. Yeah, I know. Especially this line. They kept that in, which is kind of interesting. Huh. That That's the same, that's almost the same yeah. line they said for Ghost Ager. Uh, yeah, that's almost line for line. Yeah. <clears throat> I think because of that line, some people are expecting him to be connected to Zanyak or whatever they're going to be adapted, or however they're going to be adapted. Like he's some advanced agent. Hmm. It's all speculation right now on how the hell they're working in Zanyak and Go Kaiser footage at this point. Because they're only just now filming. That they've only been filming for like five weeks now, I assume. For Ultra Mega Force? Actually, no, probably about two weeks they've been filming, as far as we know. You got no, you got no ad, right? No, it's kept going. Okay. Hmm. First time we've never had an ad with Nick. Yeah. And to quote someone else, Giant Talking Tiki Head! Uh, they also make that reference in the first episode. That it looks like a giant tiki head. <laughs> Again, they keep this th- keep the names for all the Zords. Yeah. 
Even the Megazord, they keep the same name. <laughs> and this sequence. That still has made me go, Is no one panicked on the plane? Or are they just holograms? <laughs> How about a bunch of laser beams to the face? And let me guess, he just knows all of this information, right? Uh, I'm gonna say he's just taking a guess. <laughs> it, it's one of those inspirational things. I think I think he's. Uh, I think that line's not supposed to be taken seriously. It's too cheesy to be taken seriously. <laughs> they probably do run on some advanced biofuel. Although you do have to wonder, what the hell do half these half these Zords run on? Maybe what he said is right. Run on their courage and everything. Yeah. <laughs> Notice I just kind of paraphrased horribly on what he just sat yeah. there and said. <laughs> I find it as much BS as everyone else, but yeah. I will say, the cool thing, cool thing about the Gosei Megazord is when he's doing his finisher, that's no special effect. No, they lit that damn sword on fire. <laughs> <laughs> You can tell because it does have the burn marks where it's been on fire for a while. Yes, trust me to not hit you with the claw missiles. <laughs> I'm going to call them claw missiles because I, got, I don't got a better name for it. I don't think anybody else does. Well, I'm going to use that long body for something. Isn't it futile? Or is that just a mispronunciation of the word to begin with? Um, oh, I reu reuse footage from the same episode. Of course, I don't think they have much of a choice in reusing the names because the names are printed on the cards they use, so... I mean, yeah, that, That's the case that they'd either have to use the original names or they'd have to recreate a lot of footage. Yeah. Although, I think they do different names for the, the combos for the brothers. But you can still tell that the cards are different.
That's for you, Blue, for not getting that reference. Hmm. Bravo, good sir. Yeah. That 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 was a Glock moment right there. Yeah. Watch all the heads. Might as well. I mean, how else are you going to use the header gimmick? Besides, oh, I got five different heads that I can launch at you. And control them. Ah, uh, there goes that overuse of the theme song. Gotta love yeah. it. Aha! Aha! Ah! I saw what you did there! Ah! Yeah. Ah! It wasn't that funny. No. Neither was that. Darn it, how dare you destroy a part of our set? We barely got enough budget for all this. Totally inconspicuous. Oh yeah, the ranger keys are there. Except they're not quite ranger keys. They're more like ranger statues. Wow. Well, it's the same it it's the same shape as the ranger keys, except they don't have the hinges, so they're not the keys. They're just the ranger statues. Does that make sense? Yeah. But it kinda makes me wonder if they're gonna screw up and end up you using footage like that and show past uh rangers that never got transitioned over well they do they do again I, like i said they do that in episode 4 cuz they have a shot of one of the die rangers that didn't get brought over fighting alongside uh one of the jungle fury rangers they they don't mask it it's just that shot and yet it's one of those well um, we don't quite know where they're going to go from here now. Well, you know, something else that I've got a problem with there. They're going to eventually be able to become any of the past Rangers. How are they going to work in the ones that never did get adapted? I think some have said that they're, a they're going to be alien teams. Ancient teams. There, there's several different ways they could possibly write it off, but I don't think they're going to. They're going to try to hide, try to get away with that as much as they can. They're trying to kind of. They're going to keep away from that as much as they can. Yeah, but there's gonna end up being that point where there's something in the storyline that they have to have one of those teams that never got came, never got brought over. There's gonna be something in there. Yeah. Although we don't have, uh, there's not any real good close-up shots of all the key, all the statues. I'm gonna call them ranger statues because they're not technically the keys; they're the ranger statues. Um, as far as I know, there's no six rangers in any of the team lineups. There's just the main five for each team. As far as I know, there's no six rangers in there at all. So are they not planning on bringing a sixth ranger in then? I it could they could do it like the Gokaiger plot, like Gokaiger did it, because in Gokaiger, the Gokaigers initially didn't have the six ranger keys. They had to fight Bosco to get them, and then they had to fight Bosco again for the extra ranger keys. Hmm. And by fight Bosco, I mean fight Bosco in copies of the six rangers. 
because Bosco could su could use the ranger keys to summon copies of all the six rangers with his magic trumpet. <laughs> Seriously, that's how he did it. He just stuck the keys into his trumpet and it's like, it just blew it a couple times. Poof! Copies of six rangers. Poof! Copies of extra hero, extra rangers. Or poof! Copy of any ranger key. Hell, he did it with the Gokaijers. Own keys. Huh. So it's possible that that's how they do it, and I wouldn't be surprised if they did. Because we've also got rumors of a Silver Ranger. Casting calls for a Silver Ranger, and a lot of people are speculating that's Gokai Silver being adapted as a Six Ranger for the team. Although, technically, Gosei Knight is the Six Ranger for Gosager. <laughs> because he's on Gokai Silver's uh, gold mode that has the rest of the six rangers. Wait a minute. Hmm. <laughs> Wait, they used Hyper Gose Great Card this week? Or next week? Uh, I don't know. I have to watch this. I have to watch this week's episode because apparently there's a uh, somebody posted a uh, it was Ranger Crew just posted a picture on Twitter. And it's a screen cap probably from this week's episode with Gosei Red, oh, Mega Force Red hoping <laughs> the Hyper Gosei Great Card, and that doesn't exist yet. Although I still have to wonder how they're doing it because. Datus is not released in any of the toy forms, and we have seen no hint of Datus so far. And Datus is crucial to that combination. Hmm. But we've seen Hyper Ghost say great in... Well, yeah, Hyper Ghost say great in toy form. It just doesn't involve Datus at all. And it, it involves a bunch of cycles used to replace Datus, and you end up with the same form. So I don't know how they're doing it. <laughs> Which I think is good on Saban's part. There's even this mystery for some of for those of us who know about Ghost Sager and know about certain plot elements that are coming. Well, it's like, well, they took this out, then how they're going to do this or that or this? Well, how are they going to do this? Oh, they could do it this way. <laughs> So what do you think of the show so far? Uh, definitely better than I was expecting. Would you say it's better than Samurai? Yeah. It's still cheesy, but it's better than Samurai. That's at least my opinion on it. My problem with it is like, exactly like you said, the voice acting in suit. Yeah. It just... None of it, unless they were actually fighting, none of it actually seemed like it fit. Yeah. Especially Troy. Troy's trying, trying too hard to be to do the heroic voice. He, need, he needs to back it down a bit. Because if you hear Troy talk normally, and then you hear him talk in suit, it feels like he's trying too hard. Because nobody else really does it except him. Of course, it doesn't help that Troy didn't talk out of suit really at all in this episode. Yeah. But did you notice that? Yeah, it did seem like just hearing like he was trying too hard. Yeah. Like he had that, I'm, I'm the hero and I know it kind of attitude. Uh, I would say it's that. I'd say it's more of he's trying to be the hero, so he's doing the voice. I think it's more of the, on the actor's part than the character. That, at least that's my opinion. Yeah. I think it's more on the, more on the actor's shoulder that he sounds like that than the character. 
Because there's no because if he's doing it, I don't see why everyone else is not trying to mask their voice. Because everyone else is just talking normally when they're in the suit. Troy's the only one who change who tries to who tries to change his voice. Alright. Ready to move on to episode three? I about said two. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Again, on the website down below. Second part. Get that queued up and ready. Got it queued up and ready. Alright. Starting up episode two. Going viral. In three, two, one, go. <laughs> about screwed up. I do kind of wish that they did a little bit more differences with the opening. Because this is still pretty much the samurai cold opening. Yeah. I noticed that when they kind of... Uh. Uh-oh. Problem. Back it up. What? what? My, my video completely froze. Whoa. Where at? I was going to back it up all the way to the beginning. All right. That was that was weird. It just froze at the twenty-two second mark, and I still get an audio. Huh. So it's like I'm just gonna freeze right here. You know, uh, you were talking about they still did the samurai called opening there. Yeah, that's what threw me away from the show to begin with. I would have gave it a shot at the beginning, but the way that they were advertising it. And then I heard how they were doing the theme music. It was like, oh, no, no. Well, at no. least they tried to do what they did with Zio for the theme song. You can at least give them that. I, I think it sounds better than the Samurai one, but that's not saying much. I don't, I don't like the way they did that, though. Yeah. I think they should have had more difference between it. Yeah. To me, that just sounds like they did a little bit of tweaking here and there and said, there you go. Yeah. And that's really what threw me off from the beginning. That's just all there is to it. <laughs> I yeah. heard that in the commercials, and I was like, no, screw that, no. <laughs> and when I say try to zero it up, because they're trying to remix it, but zero is a completely different song. Because it doesn't have almost the exact same lyrics. It doesn't. It may do some of the same beats, but lyrics is completely different for the most part. Here, half the lyrics are the same. Mm hmm You remember the Zeo Thieves song, do you? No. Oh. I'll have to play that for you after after the show. Because then, then you're going to hear the difference between the original Mighty Morphin song and the Zeo song. <laughs> or at least the intros. There are two different intros that only have a slight connection between the two. Anyway, back ready? Yep. All right, start back up. Take two in three, two, one, go. All right, let's hope this doesn't freeze up on me again. Or me. Yeah. Video try is trying to lag, but it's running. I will say, with Gose's head like that in the base, I need a son of a... Uh, what? Video froze up again. Huh. I'm going to have to refresh the page. Uh, you didn't know you can right-click and refresh that frame. You don't oh. have to refresh the whole page anymore. Uh, oh, well. All right. You can right-click right if you're in Firefox, go to this frame, and then reload frame. All right, I'm going to play through it for a second just to see if it does it again. All I right. don't think it will. It could be something with the first video because I noticed when we got to the end, it could not pull up the related videos. Yeah. Okay, it's not going to do it again. Okay. Just that could start be why from... mine was lagging too. Yeah. I refreshed mine. I'm waiting on them both to load up. Yeah, it's just, we'll just start back from the beginning again. Sorry, but... Oh, well. Ah, <laughs> uh, the stuff that happens on the live stream. Yeah. Oh, come on. Quit lagging, please. 
I'm trying to play through and see if it'll quit lagging on me. Although I will say, I tried out the card game with the online version. It's kind of fun. I don't like all the discarding you do, but I can at least enjoy it a little bit. All right, Especially, let's uh, try it. All right, Sorry, ready? I don't mean to cut you off there. Yeah, I'm ready. All right, starting up. Three, two, one, go. Although it's a really cool way for us to get the Daiso cards because most of them are the Daiso cards that are in Japan for a Super Sentai. Hmm. We're not getting the arcade machine, but at the very least we can get the cards, and there's some cool inter uh, there's some cool stuff with that, and the. Card scanner app, it uses Daiso footage. Where were they broadcasting with? Oh. Then why are you carrying around the guitar case? I'd say, how did you summon that without the, uh, without being in suit? But I'm like, wait, they use cards. He probably just could have summoned it whenever he wanted. Expert? That is a no, no. Of course. You know, because cause trying to get a girl is far more important than saving the world. Yeah. On a weekly basis. Boy, the video's laggy for me. Hmm. Haven't had any lag yet. That, that's not saying much. <laughs> it's like it'll play right for a little bit there, and then it'll just kind of freeze frame, and then it'll catch up, and then it'll freeze frame again. Yeah. Although, I will say, somebody took out them saying their names from the intro. The intro sounds ten times better. Like he took out all the all the all the voicing they do in the intro, and it sounds so much better. I don't know why they kept that in there. Although me knowing about who Vrax is in the original Ghost Age or so makes me wonder what they're gonna do with him. Because he is connected to the Ghost Sagers in a very specific way. And I wonder if they're going to try to do that again with Megaforce, but I don't think they will. You know, I think I may have seen what you were talking about, and I'd have to replay the last part of that intro there. I think that even in that there, if you look hard enough, you'll spot some of the other Ranger teams that never got brought over. Yeah, that that's one of the shots. Uh, you can't, like I said... The first, uh, the first time we see the Legend War footage, you can't really see it because they do a really good job of hiding it. But the second one, they blatantly show the Die Rangers. I think that was all uh, Ghost Hater footage, even that last part, I think. Maybe. Oh, hi, reused footage from the opening. Freaking things lag fasting right now. Yeah. Might be something up with your connection. Ah. Uh. Hardware acceleration? Might be that too, but I got to. I think I see some of it. I 
Well, I do have to ask, what nerds wear the collared t-shirts these days? I know I don't. <laughs> Then again, my fashion sense is t-shirt, jeans. That That's pretty much it. I, I got nothing else. Wait, how is he sneezing if he doesn't have a nose? That's a helmet. There's no nose. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Is there supposed to be some type of joke that the fact he's carrying his axe in a guitar case? I think it is. Because you can refer to a guitar as an axe. So yeah. yeah, I'd say that's probably some kind of screwed up joke there. That's not really funny. No. Damn it! I want to do a Legend of the Hidden Temple reference, but ah, uh, it's not giving me the material to do so. Ah, uh, I think all we're about to see between the three of them and the Loogies—that's all original footage. <laughs> Did you see the black guy in the background? No, I'm getting lag pest, so I'm not uh, going to see much of nothing. Uh, it was kind of funny. Oh, apparently there, some people were not happy that the fact that his uh his glasses disappear. This one is a mixture of original and. Uh, go save your footage. Wait, a villain covering up his obvious weakness? How original! You, know, you think this episode would have conflict between the two, but it doesn't really do that. I think it's because they actually function as a better team. Yeah. And I kind of like that dynamic a little better than how Samurai was played out. Yeah. Samurai, they butted heads at every given interval. <laughs> Like that right there, they would have ended up in a knockdown drag out just because of the fact that one wanted to do a plan and one just wanted to charge in. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm getting irritated with Lagfest. Can we pause for a second and see if I can fix this? All right, pausing at 936.
All right, let's try this again. I'm thinking a pause on a play might straighten it up. So let's go on. Ready? All right. Pick it back up at 9, 36 and 3, 2, 1, go. I will say the episode this footage is from, this little scene is more plot relevant than it is in the in this uh in Mega Force. Ah crap. Pause. What? My video froze up. Nine fifty six. It froze at nine fifty six? Yep. Well my whole computer's locking up. That's what's happening. I tried to pull task manager up because I was going to try to straighten it up, and it's all locking down. I got to get to that point and pause and hope it doesn't screw up. You said 9.56? Yeah. I'm going to hope force refresh in the page might end up straightening my computer up. I'm actually going to stop at 948. All right. I don't know why we're having so many problems out of the second episode. We didn't have that many problems out of the first. Something's gotten something started on my computer, though. I don't know why I'm having the problems with the videos freezing up. It might be the embed. Might have to switch to the... Uh, no, that'd be a horrible idea. Switching to Nick? Yeah. Oh Simple my god. I can't even get Task Manager to run. Technical difficulties, technical difficulties. I need to make that picture. Well, son of a bitch. <sighs> Okay. What the fuck? I checked out the, uh, uh, no, you the Power Rangers. Me. <laughs> I was checking out the Power Rangers action card game Facebook page, seeing what new uh, card previews they showed off. Because they showed off uh, Mystic Forces Red Battleizer mode and, uh, uh, shoot, I can't remember what it, what it is. Uh, the 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 cockpit mode for uh the uh Shinkanger, not Shinkangers, Samurai Rangers. Mega mode. They showed off a uh, gold mega mode as a card. I will say if it it'd be kinda cool if we got all the battleizers because why not? I think some of them are absolutely stupid, but hell they're part of Power Rangers history. Ah, my computer's locked up so freaking bad. This is pathetic. Then again, when I was going through the battle lasers before, I, I have like one problem with each of them. And it's always something different I have a problem with. Get everything back up and running as I ramble on about stuff. No. Oh. I'm getting pissed off. Freaking computers are just stuck. Yeah. I can't do nothing on the desktop. I thought maybe closing most of Firefox would fix it, and it's not. So now I can't get back on Firefox. It just hates me right now. Oh. I'm hoping we're still streaming. Uh, <laughs> You might want to check. Checking! <laughs> As I'm booting up my other computer and I'll say... We are still streaming! <laughs> I'll say screw it and I'll just watch it on my other computer. And say, screw it. I don't need the computer. The only downside is I won't be able to stop the stream. Hmm. Yeah. Well, that's not good. 
Yeah. I just thought about that. There it goes. Hey. <laughs> Thank you. Activate the piece of shit. Everything back working now? Maybe. 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 <laughs> God, I hope so. <laughs> now, can can we please function? I will say a new show on Sci-Fi has really interested me. It's a Robot Combat League. I watched the. Uh, I've seen an episode. I watched the episode that came on after Raw uh, this past week. Past week, I like it, but I was one of those people who liked Robot Wars back in the day. Do you remember that show at all? Uh uh Where robots went and battled each other. Grant Imahara from MythBusters was on it, I think. I don't remember that. Why am I the only one that remembers half the shows I bring up? <laughs> it was a fun show because it was just robots beating the crap out of each other. You had robots with buzzsaw blades on them and big old like big old nails, all sorts of weaponry, just beating the ever loving crap out of each other. It was fun. Now we're going to 946, correct? 48, but close enough. 48? Yes. Closest I was getting was 940, so that's why I was asking. I was just going to let it fly that far. Nah. And it's running right now. Freaking piece of crap. Tell me when you're ready. All right. Ready. It's starting up in 3, 2, 1, go. Listen now my video ain't going bleh, bleh, bleh. <laughs> Run! Yeah, I think the sequence here in a bit is going to be original. Because I remember this episode, the, a lot of this footage is coming from because I watched it on my own, and some of this stuff is not in here. Huh. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> like I have my axe on my friend's foot right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least they're playing it up for comedy. <laughs> yeah. That might be easier said than done. Yeah, he says that, yet he tosses a trash can in one's face. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but so are they. Yeah. <laughs> Did they really have to do the bowling sound right there? It's a part of that cheesy factor that uh, Mega Force loves so much. Well, not just Mega Force, Power Rangers in general.
Well, if that wasn't lame, then I wouldn't know what was. Yeah. Also, why did you desummon your axe and then resummon it? Yeah, that seems stupid. Yeah, especially when that thing's light as a feather to you. Right. Keep telling yourself that. Pardon me, I need to roll right over your hump. Do, do you forget how heavy that thing is? At least to you? I have to ask, how heavy is that thing? I think he did it. Yeah. Oh, by the way, there's supposed to be a line there, but it's not there. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of could see that. The wonders of adaptation. And a giant cyclone, or in a big box. In a box. Uh, I have no problems with a roll call, except when they're exuberantly long. This yeah. is exuberantly long. Yeah. And really unnated. Yeah. First episode, I could see. Second episode, I could see. After that, you should know who they are. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm fine with the roll call if they shorten it up. That's why I like Go-Catcher's roll call so much, because it's just like them naming off who they are, quick, efficient. Mm -hmm. And we can get right back into the episode. This, I feel, is like stops the episode right in its place for two minutes for a roll call, and then we can get back to the action. Then again, apparently my opinion on roll calls is kind of different from people who watch Sentai a lot. Because it's like, they love the long roll calls. I, For, I would rather have just a short roll call. Yeah. I mean, first few episodes, maybe. Like I said, first couple, yeah. Because then if someone misses the first episode, they see it in the second. Yeah. But generally, after that, you're not going to win more people in. They're yeah. either going to watch or they're not. I bet those people are entirely confused on why they're in the box. Probably. It's like, why are we in this dirt box for? All I remember is this weird creature sneezing on me, even though it doesn't have a nose. And it's wearing a helmet. Yeah. 
and a whole other factor of like people that you're trusting that you can trust your heart in on the project. Well, it's it's very simple. They're rangers. They're not normal already. I mean, I mean, the dude could pick up a, this huge axe and wait a minute. Did that what, really? Wait a minute. <laughs> wait, what? Yeah, that that bad transition. Horrible transition. Yeah. Horrible. <laughs> it's like oh they... my god. That's some these kind. Of, that's some this uh, air and episode. And how used sword uh, footage? Yeah, <laughs> but then again, stock footage is Power Rangers and Sentai standard. So I'm okay with it. But might as well use the stock footage. Yeah, saves on the budget. <laughs> you would think though they did it on a green screen. Why couldn't they just adapt it? Yeah. Have a couple of different random ones and then be done with it. Hey, how dare you steal steal our sword? Um, you know, the sword doesn't have to be the only form of attack. I, I mean, yeah, you got the dragon's breath. You got the headers. You yep. got um. I think that's all the Megazord's got. I can't think of anything else the thing can do. Um, uh, it it kind of does actually. Yeah, it kind of is both. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, it's like believe in yourselves, half of it, but uh, uh, muscles are kind of the other half. I didn't say they took off the ick part. <laughs> yeah. But they're still going to reuse the footage. And I think all those are accurate to the original Ghost Ager uh, brothers. I think we're about to see here that they can't keep the names, at least on these guys. Yeah. They, oh, okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. They kept the name for the adaptation of the Megazord there, though. Yeah. But they failed to keep the adaptation of the additional Zords? That, that was Megazord too, because it's C. No, I Brothers heard it. Megazord. I heard it when they said it about the Zord, the Megazord. I heard the C. Ick part. I thought it was just C, and they were just taking out a whole part. They were extending it. No, I didn't no. hear it. Oh. I heard the C. Ick part there, but when he brought them in to begin with, it was just C. Brothers. So, so wait a minute. They they can't. Headache. I'm not even going to try to figure that one out. <laughs> I'm just going to shut up right there. That's just, wow. They also don't keep the phrase that they do for all the Megazord finishers. They just throw in something new every time. But credit to them for trying to write something new every time and trying yeah. to use that footage every time. Because can't use it any other way, really. Because it's very, very... Religious. Like a lot of stuff from Ghost Ager. Ba da da. <laughs> Sorry, just gotta throw that out there from how he said it. I, I mean, seriously, that's just a low hanging fruit. It's too easy. Oops. Well, there goes that monitor. Hey, 
general history that are telling you to be able to pull the winner. <laughs> but besides, you can swing it harder now. Anyway, as the credits roll, thoughts on Megaforce? I can definitely say that it is better than Samurai. A lot better? Yeah. Although, we're going to have the Sam Ranger, Samurai Rangers back next season because... And I can't, I can't believe people keep forgetting this because Ranger Crew has tweeted this like five different times. Megaforce is all Mighty Morphin references. That's all it's referencing. As long as we get the next season, that Mighty Morphin through Samurai references are going to happen. And when we're going to get stars back. Presumably. We're at least getting Tommy back because... Tommy is happy to come back anytime. And so is Adam, because Johnny Young Bosch will come back for anything. I don't know about anybody else, but you can guarantee those two coming back, along with the Samurai Rangers for the eventual crossover that we've been kind of missing for a while. Because we haven't had it since... Before RPM? Oh, wait, no. Well, I don't quite count the Samurai one because we didn't have the actual actor back. We just had him voice the character. And it wasn't that good. <laughs> I'm talking about Clash of the Red Ranger. Honestly, that, that was not that good. <laughs> that could have been a lot better. And they had plenty of stuff to wor work from from uh, the Shinkenja Go On your movie. They had plenty to work from in terms of fight sequences. Although I don't think Power Rangers team up episodes are ever using are ever using footage from the movies ever. <laughs> this is the this was the rare occasion that it did. But it's so much better. I kinda like the references, but at the end of the day it's still a good show. I only caught the occasional reference. Apparently there's more. Although I don't I can't think of any past episode 1. But you have 3 seasons of material to work from for Mighty Morphin, so it's entirely possible that people are going to miss stuff. Yeah. It's only because episode 1 is Day of the Dumpster Remix that a lot of people caught the line, it caught the references. <laughs> anyway, any other thoughts on it? Uh, I can't think of anything, honestly. I mean, we kind of done hit on how the voice acting does not really match the suit acting. Yeah. <laughs> and and now apparently how they want to pick and choose when they want to use the actual names. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, kind of weird. You know, it wouldn't be so bad if the card didn't say something different than what they called it. It could They're... be understandable, but it plainly says something different on the card. <laughs> and also a negative that some people have pointed out um, you know how the Megazord transforms in the show Yeah. different from how the actual toy does the head doesn't flip up the head's in the sword that you have to stick on the top <laughs> it's one of those cutbacks from because the original Japanese toy transformed exactly like it does on the show American version? nope wow. I think that's the only difference besides possibly paint Wow. Yeah. Anyway, that'll do it this week. But next week, we go back to Kabuto. Son of a bitch. <laughs> More pain and agony as we try to get through Kabuto before it gets to us. 
That may not happen. No. Especially with the point I'm thinking of. Not the one I just learned about. No. No. There, There's a point in the show where the bullshit reaches on that on the all-time maximum. Hmm. And I know you, and if Glock's around for that episode, will be furious. Absolutely furious. Oh, boy. Because it's that bullshit. It really is. I'm right now debating on whether I want to watch it or not now. Watch that scene? Yeah. <sighs> I really am. <laughs> you, you could spoil it for yourself. Trust me, because... Honestly, after that point, you can't call it worse than Decade. Because at least Decade didn't pull some bullshit like that. At least Decade didn't. I have to give Decade credit. It didn't pull bullshit like this. No, it just pulled a bait and switch on us for the movie. But at least writing-wise, it didn't pull anything like this. Anyway, that'll do this week for... Rampant Epsilon. I'm Pissbecker2448 saying goodnight, everybody, and we'll see you on the next round of the Game of Silver Rift Tracks. Peace. Out. As always, you can find the Game of Silver Rift Tracks on our site, TGS, TGSR.dyndns.org. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter and Facebook. Our Twitter account is at TGS Rift Tracks, and on Facebook, you can find us at facebook.com slash TGS Rift Tracks. Don't forget we're listed on YouTube now. You can find us on our channel, youtube.com slash user slash TGS Rift Tracks. All of our episodes will be posted up there as soon as we are finished recording. Till next time, see y'all.